video is recording. There. You okay? You look scared. <laughs> you know who should be scared? Them. <laughs> no, Me? You. Yeah. Yeah. Unfiltered Mo, who has now been eating candy. Well, I thought we could play today, later on during the game, during the podcast, we could play Sour Patch or Swedish Fish. <laughs> Swedish Fish? Swedish Fish. Swedish Fish. Swedish <laughs> Into my mouth. All right, well, let's officially start. Is it frozen? No. Let me just open Swedish. It. Okay, I'm okay. just going to open them. Okay. Sour fish. What, what do they say about sour patch kids? First they're sour, then they're sweet. I don't know. Like they do something really terrible and then they're sweet. They make corporate executives talk like, ah, first I'm going to put this in my mouth and then it's going to go, woo, woo. Will you turn that off, please? The button to the left. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> are you gonna make it? I don't know. All right. All right. So for those of you who are watching this right now, Lita, I'm sorry your dog is fat. <laughs> Not that he was fat, but that Katie made him fat. Making it worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, making your dog fatter. Um, yeah, we just decided that we're gonna try to go both ways. And <laughs> by that I mean audio. <laughs> You are screwed. <laughs> so what's going to happen on the YouTube channel is um, this won't even be edited on the... You won't even hear this on the audio podcast. So mm -hmm. um, what you're seeing right now is this is the only place it exists. Bonus. Bonus content. I don't think you can say that word. Bonus. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So anyway, because right. I'm lazy and I don't want to edit. Okay. Don't look at my notes. Oh, sorry. She already ruined... Okay, we'll talk about that later. I okay. Did. All right. You ready? Are you? I am. Okay. Hey, everybody. Look at my nose hole. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about nose holes before we started. I know, but see, the problem is, look yeah. how big they are. They're not big. They're average size. It's just that your, your nose goes up a little bit. Noses. See, my nose goes, like, when I smile, it looks like it's going, like, 3D. Like, It's 3D. I know, but I have a really pointy nose. Like a witchy nose. Ooh. Witchy poo. Witchy nose. Here's Are you ready to try this again? I am. Hey, everybody. I'm Mo. And I'm Katie. And this is the, the Mo, Mo and, and Katie, Katie show. show. It's nice to be in the same it is. effing room. It's not. <laughs> Sorry. I'll behave. It's nice to just be back in general. We had a couple weeks off for the holidays. Yep. And I should have told somebody. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, guys. You maybe figured it out. You were busy, too. We get it. But uh, it's really nice to be back. And it's 2022. That's great. And first Friday in 2020. And it is. it's the first episode of season three. Season three! Yay! So excited. So if you're a new listener, mm -hmm. welcome. And go back and binge. If That's you're an right. old listener, well, no one's older than you. Um, oh. Except for me. <laughs> Why did we go there? It's a big year yeah. coming up. Yeah, someone's going to be 50. <sighs> Somebody's already been 50, but that's okay. Twice. <laughs> Right. <laughs> twice <laughs> all right well buckle your seatbelts, friends because i think we have all of this pent up we didn't do a podcast for two weeks energy and a lot of sugar lots of sugar <laughs> and at, at some point during the game we're going to play sour patch or swedish fish which mm. is exactly what it sounds that's like exactly what it sounds <laughs> at like at random points i'm just going to say that's not going to come out right and and just being around mo for the last hour or so she's already sans filter and just kind of everywhere today and we've added sugar to that mix so basically anything could happen so happy new year everybody <laughs> <laughs> anything could happen welcome so, to the show <laughs> sour patch kids and turning 50 um are and people pooping at the major still i just caught him out of the corner of my eye are things going on in the world <laughs> wow. mo tell us what else is going on in the world we really need to know so, okay, so we have a friend, Janine, who yes. is a second grade teacher. She is. And one of the coolest things is seeing how much the second graders love her. Like when we went to sing, um, the kids just all just oh. gathered around her. And it just, it's really neat to see second graders looking up to their teacher when yes. they have a good teacher. We know Janine's a great teacher. She is. So there's a teacher in um, Georgetown in the Washington, D.C. area. Okay. And she teaches third grade. Okay. And they were all at a break, and she promised the third graders right before Christmas, she says, I will buy everybody a hot chocolate if I make this shot. It's like from 50 feet away. Oh, and my They're gosh. on the basketball court. And so they're like, okay, okay, it's Miss, I think her name is Kathleen Fitzpatrick. Okay. I don't think that, I know that. So anyway, 
Kathleen Fitzpatrick kind of sets up and all the kids are cheering her on because they're like, this is hot cocoa. She takes this 50 foot shot, swish, nothing but net. <laughs> so the kids just all go crazy and just like all around her and stuff like that. But what's cool is she actually was a basketball star at Rutgers University. Oh, so it's cool. not like not surprising. She it's was not like, like a, whoops, I made it. Yeah, no, she was like a three point queen that anyway. Is so, but yeah, I just I think that's cool that. You know, she she was talking about the adrenaline of being at a game and stuff like that, but having everybody yeah. cheering all these kids who just want you know, they're like they get hot chocolate out of yeah, it. Yeah, they but, definitely uh, want. I just her thought to that was it. really cool. So, oh, that's yeah. Awesome. So it has a video of her making the show. Very right cool. There. Oh, that's really cool. Well, that's it in the air, but it good actually for you, goes Kathleen. Over. And I love that she she could have just made the basket, but she you know made it fun for the kids by offering them hot yeah. cocoa. Says her students were in disbelief after the teacher made the incredible shot, but much like her fellow teammates in 2018, they crowded Fitzpatrick, hugging and cheering after Oh, her. I love it. I wonder if that was even more rewarding than her college victories. I thought you were going to say than teaching, which of course <laughs> it is. So, unless you're a well, teacher. But anyway, then so. Godspeed. Keep yeah. doing a good shot. Nice shot, Kathleen Fitzpatrick. There you go. Yeah, Fitzpatrick. There you go. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Good job. Mrs. I wonder if they call her like that's a that's a mouthful for a third grader. I wonder if they call her like Mrs. F or Mrs. Fitz or something like that. Miss Fitz. <laughs> or effing teacher. No, probably not. Oh my gosh. See, see. Well, I want to tell you something really cool that I read, Moe, about you've heard of Habitat for Humanity, I'm sure. Yes. That they 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 build houses and they actually they build houses and they don't actually give them to people, but they sell them to people at an affordable rate. These are just hardworking you know, middle-class people that are, are just trying to make good lives for their family. Well, they had something very um, groundbreaking happen in Virginia. She's looking at my notes. You need to stop. Um, they made a bit of history because they built a home for a woman named April Stringfield and her 13-year-old son, but they used 3D printing to build the home. Everything? Um, a good deal of it. So lumber prices are really yeah, high yeah. right now. A lot of people probably are aware of that. And they saved an estimated 15% per square foot compared to their normal building costs um, by building this 1,200 square foot home. What they did was they 3D printed and poured the concrete. And then they they uh, made some other adjustments to how they, they built the skeleton of the house in 12 hours. This is a, 12, a 1,200 square foot That's home. a big ass printer. <laughs> And it's a little um, puppy. That is a little puppy. That's just an ad. Don't get distracted. Um, but they, there's even a miniature 3D printer that comes with the house so they can repair things like oh light switches gosh. and things like that. That's so, so cool. I've always wanted a 3D yeah. printer. So with the, so cool. with the lumber, and it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful home. Again, also, if you're watching, picture of the home. And a puppy. And a, <laughs> and a puppy. Thank you. Which has nothing to do with the story. But uh and um, April was very excited because it reminded her of the house that her grandmother lived in. It looked got, like, very a craftsman similar. Style, yeah. yeah, she said she couldn't imagine a better Christmas gift, and she was just thrilled to have this opportunity. But it was groundbreaking for the organization. So good for you, Habitat, for thinking awesome. outside the lumberyard there a little bit. Yeah, and, and inside the three D printer, making it making it work. So that's awesome. Congratulations. Cool. So. So Before Mo, we, we go need to talk for a moment. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I think we're gonna play the first round of Sour Patch or Swedish Fish. All so. right. I don't know. Do you just close your eyes? Are you eyes? just going to, yeah, do you want to put it in my mouth well, or you're put gonna, it in my hand? You, you're going to feel it then. Okay. You put it in my okay. mouth. <laughs> this is with trust. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it tastes like apple. No, it's definitely sour patch. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Oh my gosh. It's a sour patch. <laughs> That's correct. That was a sour Ooh. patch. Watermelon? Oh, it's good. I don't know. It's good. Once you get past the sour. Yeah, because they're sweet at first and then they're and just then they're nasty. <laughs> Okay. So, Mo, it's a new year. Hi. Happy 2022. <laughs> new year. I want to tell you, and I want to tell listeners, especially those that are concerned about my ill research quirky facts, this is a new year, everyone. They're going to be worse. <laughs> no. We're giving up the quirky facts. No. That's a Lent. <laughs> my quirky facts are not only going to be, they're proven to be about 15% quirkier this year. I'm going to talk about this thing in my 50. mouth. Well, that's 15. what she said. <laughs> Lob that soft all over the home base. <laughs> I can't talk about this thing in my mouth. That's just awesome. <laughs> That's what you said. That's what you said. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm. I was repeating. I wasn't. I, I know. Lobbing I know, another know. softball. Okay. So, not only will my quirky facts be even more enjoyably quirky, 
but they are going 15%. to be thoroughly researched this year. How much? More? It's a good year. It's going to be a good year. Well, you guys like, are going to be thrilled. Who's Carrie's always the one that's Carrie getting and ready. Saru. Yeah. Okay, guys, you're going to be so proud of me this year. These are going to be so well researched. You don't even know. So we're going to start off with a quirky fact about snow because. Oh God. It's fantastic. Okay, but first we're going to play our No, <laughs> we already played. <laughs> we already played. So, um, Scotland has a lot of words for snow. Moe, would you like to guess how many words 70. they have for snow? It's, it's more than that. 70? No, more than that. Oh, I said 170. They have 421 words for snow. 421 words for snow in Scotland. And some of them include... The word schneesel, which which is when it's just starting to rain or snow. The word fiefel, <laughs> which is when the snow is you're just making swirling. I'm not making right. this stuff up. And flink drinking. <laughs> flink drinking, which is a light snow. It's flink drinking outside. <laughs> okay. We had that a lovely Christmas Eve <laughs> flink drinking. <laughs> yeah. well, but then it started to fiefel. <laughs> <laughs> then yes. it was perfect. So, Scot so, so Scotland has 421 words for snow, and that's three of them. Maybe I'll just start mixing them into our January pods just to make things more interesting. But I'm wishing you all a very a flink, flink drinking Friday. <laughs> okay. Actually, that that's Katie's been flink drinking again. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Is it, it the, is the Scottish word uh, four ton? Do you know the Scottish I word? I don't know that, no. It's actually an old English word. I don't know okay. if it's so old. I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, nice. Okay, well. That makes me flurious, though. <laughs> okay. Give me a flake. Okay. So, the old English word for ten okay. means to break wind. <laughs> which is the etymological history okay. of the word fart. Okay, I, that's and funny because you, you, I have a quirky fart. A quirky <laughs> <laughs> I have a quirky fat coming up that has to do with the word fart, too. <laughs> today? Right now? No, not today. You have a quirky fart. I don't know how quirky your farts are. <laughs> Katie says her, her farts are going to be 50% quirkier this year. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Well, it's interesting that you have a quirky fart. fart. <laughs> I, think, I think that one just fell flat, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, start okay. over because I forget what you were talking about. I didn't. Okay. Today is National Pass Gas Day. Oh. <laughs> Let's start the new year off with a like, with a bang. <laughs> a bang. Uh, yeah. Oh my okay, goodness. Okay, so li listen. So today is National Pass Gas Day. I don't mm. know if it's an international Is that day. really the toot? <laughs> it's a whole toot, nothing but the toot. <laughs> nothing but the toot. <laughs> hey, listen. The first gas passing joke was made in 1900 BC. Oh. <laughs> right, that's all I got for that. Oh. See, my. See, the cool thing about my. my Weird holidays is that they're filled with quirky, quirky they are. facts. <laughs> I'm trying to find. Here, no, here's, oh. a, here's a fun fact about quirky facts. Farts. <laughs> Listen. Farts travel seven miles per hour. <laughs> um, so I'm oh, getting... They travel about ten feet per second or seven miles per hour. I don't think that's a good driving. <laughs> <laughs> if you're driving, it's even faster. No, I'll go ahead and share this this quirky fact oh. I was saving. But did you know that Were you just holding it in? You know the word <laughs> <laughs> This fact is silent but deadly. <laughs> You're familiar with the word fizzle, right? If something fizzles. It's, it's the four hundred twenty second so. word for snow in Scotland. <laughs> the word fizzle started in the fourteen hundreds. It meant to break wind quietly, according to the Oxford English Dictionary. The word fizzle started as a type of fart. <sighs> We're starting the new year off by sinking to such a lovely low. <laughs> You're the one who always does some unpower pee. <laughs> to do the point in here and then the Spanish poop major. Come on. 
friends, if you're listening today, you need to go over to YouTube <laughs> and you need to see <laughs> I've made Mo cry. <laughs> oh, all right. I think it's time to play Swedish Fish. <laughs> All right, close your eyes. Okay. Close your eyes. No, no, it's my turn. You close your eyes. I don't trust you. No, you have to, have to put it in your mouth. Okay, <laughs> Here it comes. Sweet fish. Yeah, very good. Oh, chewy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are. All right, let's move on. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that was pure We sure. hope you're having as much fun as we are today. <laughs> See, this is what happens when we don't have a podcast for two weeks. We have all this pent up ridiculousness that just comes bursting out. <laughs> you okay? Uh, stomach hurts. I know. My <laughs> I wonder if I had that any points for like a workout. <laughs> Mo checks her Apple Watch. <laughs> All, right. All right. So today, with it being the start of a new year, I actually thought it would be nice to reflect on last year. And 2021 definitely shit show. had its... <laughs> Oops. And its challenges, for sure. I just said that. But I think that there are a lot of really good things that came out of last year as well. So first of all, listeners, we really want to hear from you. What were your highlights of 2021? What are some goals that you set and accomplished? What are some maybe new skills that you picked up? Tell us about your 2021 and the good things that happened. Yeah. So. I had a, oh, I didn't have it, but um, my niece had a baby. Your niece had I'm a, a great baby. aunt. You are a great, great aunt. aunt. Great, great. Great. What's going on there? I don't, know. I don't know. I had three bad haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> and an eyebrow incident as well. <laughs> I uh, I do my own eyebrows. Mo sent me a picture the other day <laughs> of her eyebrow waxing cloth that looked like it had almost an entire eyebrow on it. <laughs> it did. I was concerned. <laughs> I'm a furry little. <laughs> anyway, so you have you have a grand niece now. Yep. And we started trivia. We started trivia in October. And we love it. Yeah. Talk about you. I mean, you say this all the time about <sighs> doing something that doing something that you never realized that you would. Love. How do you say it? Like this podcast. It's the thing that I've always wanted to do and I didn't know it. Yeah. That, what it's this that? podcast. But trivia is one of those things for us. So yeah. we we do trivia. Mo does it every week at Ten Egg Brewery. I come down whenever I can, which isn't as often as I'd like, but we yeah, try to make it work. And so we do it live every Thursday, and then we have done a couple of online trivia things, too. Yeah. And we love it. Mo so puts together fun. these brilliant playlists that go with our trivia questions. Um, it, Deliver Me Trivia, which we played um, Brian's interview a few weeks ago. Yeah, Brian Kaufman. Fantastic genius. stuff. So that's been a new venture for us. Yeah. Mo had a book come out in October, Part of mm -hmm. My Quirk. Mm -hmm. And it's fantastic. And if you haven't read it yet, you need to read it because it's awesome. I should read it. You should read it. I should read it. <laughs> Um, I was thinking the other day about how much I have crafted this year, all the craft oh, yeah. projects I've done this year. And I am very, very, I'm a very good craft starter, but not always a good craft finisher. But I did my piano. Schroeder. Yes, my purple piano project. What if I, can I flip it over? Oh. You could just turn it. I don't know. That just happened to be, that's my purple, my purple piano with the mosaic on it. Um, I, my sister sent me paint by numbers of our three dogs and I painted all three of those. Yeah, I, I crocheted a lot of stuff. But not knitting. No, I don't knit. No. And, and she'll get um, pissed off if you ask her if she knits. <laughs> Apparently there's some kind of like needle crochet gang thing. There you, is. It's a thing. Yeah, it's very it's a, West Side Story. That's right. <laughs> boy, boy. Um I did the paintings, I crocheted a whole bunch of things and I did the jewel painting. So I'm just I was thinking about just all the things. Oh, and for Christmas I oh. made um family tree. I can talk about this now because Christmas is over and I've given them to my family, but I made Happy canvas Jesus. family trees with uh, they're button trees but with with these wooden hearts that have our family's name oh, on them. Really good. So, thank you. I'm really happy. So, so I'm just like thinking about all the things that I made and yeah. I'm kind of proud of that. You should be. So, well, thank you. Yeah. So, it was kind of fun. Um my niece made a baby. She did. She did. Can't compare with that. <laughs> my nephew helped too. <laughs> not my nephew-in-law. What that's they're not siblings. Just your nephew. <laughs> they're not siblings <laughs> so anyway. what else what else did uh so listeners are you thinking about your accomplishments this year did you read a bunch of books you read a lot of books mo you read every single day and i really admire that about you yeah mostly uh, archie comics <laughs> yeah some spider-man <laughs> yeah i just but you know it's 
I think a lot of times we, especially for resolutions, we talk about looking forward. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking about this, like I last year made a list of, I think it was like 10 things I wanted to do every day, which was not sustainable. There was only one of those 10 things that I did yes. every single day. Yes. But and what it, was that? Um, fart? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Um, you called your mother every single yeah, day. I saw or called my mom every single day. Every single day. I love that. Yeah. But it was, you know, it made me think too, like when you look back on something, we set these goals and yes, working out was one of them, mm -hmm. reading every day, writing every day, something was, I had I wanted to do at least 10 minutes every single day. Mm -hmm. The only thing I did consistently was call my mom or see my mom. Yeah. But it, it was interesting to me in that when you kind of look back on those things, you kind of figure out what's important to you. Yeah. And it was, absolutely. it was like... The only thing that mattered out of that list of 10 things that I said I was going to do every day was that I called my mother or talked to her. I had some kind of contact with my mom every, every single day. day. I love so, that. So, I love that. you know, reading, <laughs> writing, <laughs> arithmetic. <laughs> call your oh, mother. I was in a show this past year. Oh, was that this so year? That was, yeah, I know, right? Good God. <laughs> so, yeah, that was spring, awesome. Uh, which, what a blessing of living in a virtual world for a while because I don't know that I would have gotten to do the show unless it was virtual. Yeah, because your schedule. Yeah. And... That you know, I was able to to finish teaching and then just walk to the other side of the room and get on a Zoom rehearsal. And we made this beautiful Little big women. shout out to Tommy who directed and edited Little Women that we put that we um, released in March and then released again Thanksgiving weekend this past year. Yeah. Um, but so proud of that project, yeah. and I got to work with some crazy talented people. So yeah. that was. That, so that was like, I haven't done I a show since was, I was in high school. I forgot that was this year. It was this oh, year. It was year crazy. And even yeah. getting back to virtual, getting back from virtual to in-person lessons yeah. has been big for me this year. Seeing my students in person again was was really big. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, it's been, but you I know. I think it's important to kind of get your calendar. Like, I don't know how people keep track of things, but get your calendar out and go back um, and just look at the things you accomplished. Yeah. I think there's a lot of power in that. And I, like, again, like we just did right now, I like forgot about that. Yeah. You know, like I forgot yeah. that was last year. I know that crazy. So, yeah. So a lot of good stuff. And in that, some good highlights of the Mo and Katie show as well. We did, we started the Mo and Katie show blend this year, which is our interview segment. Yep. We do the second Friday of every month. Yep. We did a live 50th show yeah, on fun. Facebook. That was fun. Um, We've just, we've continued to keep some creative outlets going and things that you and I are creating kind of in our Mo and Katie show brand, including the trivia, yep. but other things as well. So really proud of. Yeah, it's been good. And it's season three. Yay! So again, like Mo said, if you're new, we got plenty of stuff for you to go back and listen to. If you're hanging with us. Thank you. It just gets crazier from here. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. let's start the year off by playing a game. Okay. Sour Patch Kid or Swedish Fish? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Hang on. I gotta decide which one I want. Okay. I'm Open ready. Your mouth. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Sweeter fish on this side. <laughs> she got one of each. Mm. You're welcome. Okay. It's so sour. Okay. We're gonna play. Right, a we're game. gonna play a game. We're gonna play a game, and Mo has already cheated. I did. I admit it, though. True. Mo, Here's Mo the deal. He, I don't like surprises. This is why, I'm not saying I cheated, but this is why I just don't like surprises. So I was trying to... She also yeah. ruined their, my Christmas present to her. I did. I do that. Okay. I still gave it to you anyway. So for example, it's the one she looked at already. So we I'm going to give Mo a stack of five cards. She's going to give me a stack of five cards. Don't okay. look at them. Okay. So on this... Don't look at it yet. I haven't looked. I'm just showing the camera. Show asparagus as an example. She looked at asparagus. So, did you write one word on each one? Well, some of them have like a like a phrase. I we okay. We had rules, and apparently we violated them. Now, already. if you're listening right now, thank you for listening. <laughs> but what you may want to do to get more it's all the residual Swedish fish in my throat. <laughs> she hacking up a long no, just a <coughs> are you hacking up a gill? Just a Swedish fish, <laughs> just a fin. Yeah. Um, you may want to jump over to YouTube and watch this part because, I mean, it will be amusing audio, you know, audio wise, but it will be even more amusing in the YouTube link. So, well, that's awfully a lot of pressure. So Mo we will be talking and, and at some point we'll hold up a card and she will have to incorporate whatever's on the card into her okay. sentence. And we go back and forth. How right? we, yeah, how we, yeah we go back and forth. So we need a, we need like a, let's, let's say we're, uh, we're at the airport. 
You want to be at the airport? Sure. With all the flights getting canceled? Really? No. <laughs> okay, so at the airport. So you're going to start talking, and, and at some point, you're just going to incorporate the word in your okay. lap. Do I have to, like... And then you do one. And yeah, then and then I do one. We're having do you, a do conversation. You like, do you like how we... I mean, we're prepared enough to have the cards, but... <laughs> That's all you we, get. You think we talked about the damn rules and, and whatnot? <laughs> nope. Nope. All right. That's part of the magic of what we do. All right. You ready? So you're going to go first. So just start talking, and then at some point, you're going to incorporate the word. So we're at the airport? Okay. Sure. Did you check a bag or carry on? I usually check, you know, I usually check my bags. You, you usually do, but did you today or no? Yeah, I checked I checked a bag. Okay. I just want to make sure you didn't have any spider monkeys <laughs> in, your, in your bag because... Oh... Um, no, I'm That's glad really you more of a carry-on. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned that because okay. when it comes to spider monkeys, sometimes that's something, I mean, liquids I check for, you make sure your spider monkey's under three ounces or whatever. I forgot to check for that. However, I did at last minute um, <laughs> notice that I left my kerfuffle in my purse. So I'm... <laughs> <not a> thing. <laughs> well, it left me in quite a kerfuffle oh, yeah, having a spider true. monkey there. I was all, you know, in a kerfuffle, kerfuffle and verklempt and everything, but I calmed down a little bit. So, is this calm down for you? This is yeah, you this calm? Is calm. Because yes. I have traveled with you before. Oh, that's true. But, uh, that's yeah. true. It's not always pretty. No. no. But I'll tell you one thing about traveling with Katie, yeah. especially in an airport, mm -hmm. is the Easter Bunny. <laughs> you want to go in the springtime because if there's an Easter Bunny in, in the airport, She's going to sit on his lap. I'm just telling you. <laughs> it's going to happen. You talk about kerfuffle. She will knock kids out of the way. She will. She will. I will have to hold the spider monkey. Three ounces or not. And she will go and sit on the Easter Bunny's lap. It's true. It's, it's true. proven for But, you know, what a lot of people don't know. You know, Mo has traveled a lot. She's literally traveled the world. I've been around. But what a lot of people don't know about Mo when she travels is that she always has to have a waffle. <laughs> Because if she doesn't get a waffle, that, you know, crisp, syrupy goodness, she just, she shuts down. Yeah. She'll just sit on the floor in the terminal and like, and we're like, what's wrong, Mo? She's like, I want a waffle. So, yeah. So just know that if you travel with Mo, she has to have a waffle. Yeah. It's just her go-to. B-Y-O-W. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. But one thing about you that's been interesting when we get to like the um, the luggage cart, is oh, okay. when, you, when you don't check your spider monkey or you do check your spider monkey, mm -hmm. is what I've been found fascinating about how you conduct yourself okay. at the um, luggage carousel yeah. is that... You are always singing Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> and, and it's like, as soon as the luggage starts, she goes, Tale is old as old as time. <laughs> really? Beauty and the Beast? Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> well, as it can the thing about, Mo, so speaking of the luggage, when the luggage comes out of the carousel, she like loses it. I mean, the one time we traveled. Well, because it was all my waffles. She... She she's looking around the suitcases going, where's my one celled organism? Where's my one celled organism? I've got to find it. It's my science experiment. And people didn't know. That, word. <laughs> that was going to be fun. That was what was going on for that one. The word was organism <laughs> on the card. Organism. Yeah. Sometimes you're just really happy to find your one cell organism. One cell, two cell. Oh, my God. Multiple organisms. Um, speaking of multiple organisms, stinky socks. <laughs> That's what does it for me. And that's oh. exactly why <laughs> that's why I check my stinky socks. Okay. In in the luggage. Okay. Because you don't want to be with me on the plane. Okay. When I get out well, that's stinky kind socks. of you to do that. That's really thoughtful. Yeah, because organisms abound. Well you know what else I noticed? You know what else I noticed that you you know, you're a very conscientious traveler. You try mm -hmm. to think of other people. And I noticed that <laughs> I noticed that you try not to titillate anyone too when you're traveling. Like you try, like everybody. I do that at home. Stay yeah. If I'm going to titillate anybody, so it's going to be at. <laughs> Was that what you were going to say? No. Oh. Just you try to just everybody stay calm. Nobody get titillated. It's all good. Yeah. So. It's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. to have positive memories of my. Face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Keep everybody you are. abreast of it. I'm so <laughs> Okay, well, you stole my pun. Yeah, well, you know the other thing I like to steal. From What's you? that? Your mom's quiz quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. Yeah, <laughs> um, season one. Speaking about one cell organisms. Oh, um, your mom's quiz quiz. Yeah, and, and what's important is your mom's quiz quiz really titillates me though. So, <laughs> please stay away from my mom. <laughs> Just remember to put batteries in, in your, your mom's, mom's quiz quiz. quiz. <laughs> That's very important. How do I have two left? 
I don't know, maybe somebody cheated. Oh my gosh. We well, just don't five, forget, right? you know, if you're sitting next to someone who's a ventriloquist. Dude, you did like seven. <laughs> I, I, I filled out every card you gave me. You did six. So you know, did you. If you're going to sit, well, yeah, but you, if you're sitting next to someone on the plane who's a ventriloquist, it's kind of fun because they can like watch where your hands your mouth go. and make it look like you're talking. But the biggest travel tip that I can tell anyone, the biggest thing to remember always, friends, <laughs> don't forget to pack your onomatopoeia. <laughs> And check it because they'll make you, they'll take it at the gate. What is onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia it's is... It's a sound, right? It's a sound. Yeah, it's, it's a word that sounds like it. Like a spider monkey's like, onomatopoeia gosh, is whiz. <laughs> right? I right. don't even know. Okay. All well, right. Well, that's good. That's a good time. Is it? <laughs> it is. It's a time for another round of... Oh, no, it's so, my turn. Yeah, no, it's my turn. No, 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 no. no, no you did turn. the last one. Close your eyes. Oh, I just... <laughs> Close your eyes. Last one. Oh, you're cheating. <laughs> I like the way just your one eye closes. <laughs> Which one's that, Moe? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> your right eye. Oh, you're like a stallion. <laughs> Well, with that, friends, <laughs> we will close out today with our first gratitude quote of the year. And as you know, gratitude, humor, and positivity. And Sour Patch Kids. And Sour Patch Kids are important to us. So um, I really like this one. And the thing is, I couldn't find... You know find... what's neat is she never, ever just goes like, and, and gratitude is important to us. So we're going to close out with gratitude. It's always like this. You know, this is the first time we've used this one. And what's neat about this is the font. It's sans serif. <laughs> Person. Are you done? <laughs> nope. This one I found, it's actually a book title. So I couldn't find someone to attribute it to besides it being a book title. So the, this Moby book Dick. is by Vanessa Robbins. And the book is called... Listen. <laughs> the book is called A Grateful Heart is a Magnet for Miracles. Ooh. I know. Isn't that nice? Is that like a pacemaker reference? I don't think so. A Grateful Heart is a Magnet for for miracles. Happy New Year, everybody. You're magnetic. May all of your Magnets. patch kids be sour. And all your fish be sweet. <laughs> and all your snow words be Scottish. <laughs> and all your spider monkeys be under three houses. <laughs> this is what we wish for you. And, and. onomatopoeia. <laughs> I think titillate's an onomatopoeia. I think it probably is. titillate sounds like titillate. So why don't you close us today, <laughs> I will close out by saying Katie has to deal with me the rest of the day. <laughs> There's plenty more Swedish fish in the sea mm. and Sour Patch Kids in the garden. So be grateful. Keep <laughs> laughing and stay positive. And we'll see you next week. Happy 2022. Yay! Happy Ooh, season three. Lori Lightford next week. That's right. Tune in. It's going to be good. On the blend. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness.